Hey everybody, I'm Lance Koike, and today we are starting a series of videos on the warm up. How can I choose the most efficient warm up? How can I make a really efficient warm up? How do I know what I should put in there? And today we're going to start with maybe the first thing that I'll give you, even though I don't really give it to that many people anymore. Spoiler alert. Uh, and that is foam rolling or self myofascial release. So people generally feel really good after they get a massage. And that is kind of the idea with self myofascial release. It's like a poor man's massage. You just buy a $3 lacrosse ball and you pin it against the wall and you rub it on your muscle. And then you kind of feel pretty good. Now, I don't dispute that. I have definitely felt way better after doing some of that stuff. And when people, you know, massage my muscles, I feel way better then too, because I got a lot of stuff. I got a lot of extra tone in this body that needs to be released. And I just have trouble releasing it on my own. The problem is that self myofascial release doesn't stick around for very long. Even if you're not doing it yourself, even if it's a massage therapist who's given it to you, I, you know, usually it only sticks around for a little bit. And you get this kind of like wax and wane thing where I feel a lot better for a day or two or three or whatever. And then I feel pretty good for a week or four weeks or six months. And then I feel really bad again. So if you're the type of person who can, you know, squeeze six months out of a massage, then yeah, absolutely go get them. I totally support you. And if you're the type of person who feels like you need massages, maybe even every week, absolutely go get them. I'm, I'm not disputing any of that at all. And absolutely, you can spend some time in the beginning of your warm up doing that to yourself to try to, you know, hold yourself over until your next massage. The idea here is not what people normally say. It's not that I'm breaking up uh, scar tissue and adhesions in muscle. That stuff doesn't change just from pressure. Um, and that's the case for massage and that's the case for uh, foam rolling and you know pinning a lacrosse ball against the wall and Theragun and all that stuff. At least that's my assumption. Um, what is happening here is I'm sending a signal to the nervous system that says, hey man, calm down. We don't need to be so tense and taut and on. And what that does is it allows your joints to move again. And so, you know, you rub your pec muscle on this lacrosse ball and then you lift your arm up and you're like, oh crap, I can move again. This feels great. I feel like a new man. So yes, it does have benefits. Yes. Uh, it does make you feel better. Uh, no, it doesn't really last for very long. No, you don't have to do it. No, I don't do it anymore. Um, I just found that <laughs> it felt futile. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, I, you know, I do feel good when I had somebody just the other week rub my calf muscle and I felt so much better. My foot moved again and if it, it was crazy. Um, so, you know, do it if you want to, but if you're pressed for time, it's probably a good thing to just cut out. 